Hello, hello. Welcome to this tiny on-brand session. We're here to talk about your business, making sure that the front end, the back end, all aspects of your business align with your mission, vision, values, and your audience. This on-brand session is all about three questions that we can ask in order to help you make sure your next idea, your next product or offering is actually on brand for you. If you know anything about me, you know that I love an idea, love an idea, and there's nothing that I won't do for an idea to bring it to life, to make it happen, to see it through. However, I have found over the years that an idea is only as good as the foundational pieces of your business, your mission, your vision, your values, and the people that you're serving. So if your idea doesn't actually align with any of those things, it's probably not gonna work. So I've got three questions for you to ask yourself when those new shiny ideas pop up and you're uh, really excited to try them out. First question is, will this help people achieve your brand why? Your brand's purpose for existing. So for the Inspired Foundry, our brand why is to, in a broad stroke, create beauty. Will any idea I have help other people create beauty in their lives? The answer is yes. Great. If the answer is no, let's go back to the drawing board. And that's the first question we ask because any question after that doesn't even really matter. If it's not aligned with your ultimate purpose for existing, then you need to save it for another time. <laughs> second question is, does it align with your brand values? Does this thing align with your values of hospitality or compassion or honesty, right? You need to know what your values are first in order to determine whether or not an idea will actually be aligned with them. If you need a quick exercise in deciding what your core values are, spend five minutes talking into your phone or journaling about why you started your business. What's important about it to you? Um, who are you hoping to serve and what are you hoping they get out of that? Some words that come up repeatedly will probably give you an insight into what it is that you specifically value in your business. The third question I like to ask is, does this idea or whatever it is that you're working on provide your overall brand impact or benefit? So your brand impact is what you are hoping to leave people with. So for example, the Inspired Foundry is all about providing confidence, validation, inspiration. Um, if my idea is not providing any of those things for my audience, it's probably not super on brand. So you want to ask yourself, does this idea, this product, this offering, this marketing strategy, whatever it might be, does it align with my brand? Why? Does it align with my brand values? And does it align with my brand impact or overall benefit? If the answer is yes to all three of those things, that's fantastic. It's probably a super inspired idea for you. If it doesn't align with any of those things or one or two, maybe, I would go back to the drawing board. Ask yourself some deeper questions about what it is about this idea that you really love. What is it that's not quite aligned with your why, your values, etc.? And then maybe go back to the drawing board and figure out how you can have it align with your values to give people the benefit you are trying to provide to them. There are more questions you can ask of an idea and to help you out, I made you a little decision filter. So you start at the top with your brand why you go down to your values, your brand impact or benefit, and then a few other questions to help you get all the way down to what an inspired idea. So you can grab this for free. It's a Canva template so you can fill in your specific things for each little part of this. Then you have your own decision filter to help you out with all of these things over here. like marketing strategies and social media posts, any services you're offering, digital products, physical products, courses, emails, newsletters, lead magnets, gifts, worksheets, ads, blog posts, client materials, packaging, videos, collateral, memberships, communities, experiences, and webinars. Lastly, if you're thinking about an idea and you're like, ooh, I would really love to talk with somebody about this or see if it is on brand for me because I can't tell because I'm so deep in the weeds of my own business, I'm offering on-brand strategy sessions one-on-one. -on -one. If you're interested, there's a button around here somewhere. Click the button, it'll take you to the thing, and you will be on your way to being more on-brand.